Situated in the North American region, the Caribbean islands are renowned for their beauty and diverse ecosystems. Island life has its charms, but also presents certain challenges. In particular, energy independence is an important goal for governments seeking to cut down the expense of generating electricity through expensive fuel imports. In January 2017, the UAE Caribbean Renewable Energy Fund was created to enable renewable energy projects on 16 Caribbean islands for sustainable growth. The fund is a partnership between the UAE Ministry of Foreign Affairs and International Corporation, the Abu Dhabi Fund for Development, and Mazda. The goal of the fund is to empower and develop these island nations to become more energy independent, climate resilient, and to grow their technical skills base required to build and maintain their own renewable energy projects. The fund also aims to promote gender equality by ensuring that each project has a female presence. With 50 million US dollars pledged, the project is developing at a record speed with three of the 16 projects nearing completion. In the Bahamas, a dual-use carport will be provided for the National Sports Stadium. The carport is hosting solar panels that power the stadium during the day. Any excess energy is returned to the grid via net metering. This very first large-scale solar PV project on the island will have an additional first by also offering electric vehicle charging stations. The project will prevent 310,000 litres of diesel being burned every year, displacing 856,000 kilograms of CO2 emissions. In St. Vincent and the Grenadines, a solar farm and battery will provide 30% of the power that Union Island's 3,000 inhabitants need. The solar farm will power the entire island during the day, with batteries kicking in during overcast conditions and in the evenings. It saves 320,000 litres of diesel fuel a year and displaces 825,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions from the environment. Importantly, it delivers energy independence and self-sufficiency for the island's residents, safeguarding them from blackouts caused by disruption to diesel imports during bad weather. In Barbados, a project in collaboration with the Barbados Water Authority is constructing two solar installations. A solar carport feeds into the grid while also providing charging for electric vehicles. A second solar installation is attached to a water pumping plant and connected to the grid. Designed to withstand extreme hurricane level winds of up to 258 kilometers an hour, the installations will save 265,000 litres of diesel fuel a year, while displacing 975,000 kilograms of carbon dioxide emissions annually. Cycle 1 of the projects funded by the UAE Caribbean Renewable Energy Fund will generate tangible environmental benefits. They will deliver cost savings for governments and also inspire future generations to invest in renewable energy. Cycle 2 projects of the UAE Caribbean Renewable Energy Fund are under development in 2019, while Cycle 3 projects are to be developed in 2020. These high-impact projects will unlock the benefits of renewable energy for more communities and transform their lives for the better.